Tinkins Wood Burial Chamber is the center point of a Neolithic village, which thrived some 6,000 years ago. Set on a sloping valley, this area would have been very desirable. The stream nearby, good soil for growing crops, and plenty of stone suitable for making tools and building tombs. The tomb itself is over a thousand years older than Stonehenge or the Great Pyramids of Giza. The huge capstone weighs 40 tons. That's more than five London buses. It's the largest capstone in Europe. It would have taken over 200 villagers to move the capstone, which is over seven meters long and almost five meters wide. The large patches of rock exposed on the approach to Tinkins Wood is an area known as the quarry, and that's thought to be the source of the stone. However, the quarry didn't supply the stone for the inside rock. Where that came from is still a mystery. Originally, the tomb would have been covered by an earthen mound. However, you can still get a good idea of how these tombs were laid out. You can pick out the rectangular outline of the mound and the external walls along the forecourt. This leads up to the chamber where in 1914 archaeologists found the remains of almost 50 bodies along with broken pottery and some flint. The excavation team also installed a supporting pillar in the chamber and the external walls were reclad using a herringbone pattern. Legend has it that anyone who spends a night at Tinkins Wood on the evenings before May Day, St. John's Day, or Midwinter Day would either die, go mad, or become a poet. To find Tinkins Wood Burial Chamber, follow the signs to Dufferin Gardens. You can park in front of the Kissing Gate and see the burial chamber in the distance, about five minutes walk along the footpath. From Tinkett's Wood, you can carry on past Dufferin Gardens to St. Lydon's burial chamber, just a couple of miles down the road. <laughs>